Hey there, my meaty friends. This is Reed, aka Carnivore Chef. So what do coffee, red wine, and beef have in common? They all taste really good together. What, did you think I was gonna make a witty joke? Sorry to disappoint, but this is a cooking channel. I'm here to bring you the highest quality ingredients possible and make them into a dish. With that said, let's take a plastic cup filled with okay coffee and run some boiling hot water through it. For this recipe, you'll need 16 ounces or two cups of coffee, preferably a dark roast. Next up, we'll need some sort of beef roast. I personally love to get chuck roast because of the marbling and connective tissue, but something like a sirloin tip roast will work well here too. No matter what you get, you're going to want to cut it into nice bite-sized pieces. If you have a large chunky piece of beef like this, just make some nice strips and then spin that meat around and dice her up. You'll know you have good cubes if you can build a basic pyramid. If your pyramid stands, continue on to dicing the rest of your beef. Okay, let's grab a four quart pot and place it over high heat. Toss in about one tablespoon of butter and maybe half our beef. This is the beginning stage of building our flavor by creating a fond at the bottom of the pan. Give this a hard sear for maybe three to five minutes or until the beef looks like this. Yeah, nice and seared. Scoot all this to the side and pour in two cups of red wine of your choice. I went with a halfway drinkable Cabernet Sauvignon. Bring this to a boil to cook off the alcohol while simultaneously scraping the bottom of the pot. You'll know the alcohol is burned off when you can waft it in your face and not cough your ass off from the fumes in the alcohol. Once it's boiling, throw in the following. Five cloves of garlic, two cups of coffee, the rest of your beef, one quart of beef stock, one tablespoon of salt, a half teaspoon of black pepper, and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, yeah. And give this one last mix before we bring this down to a bare simmer for about two hours. You really just want the beef to kind of shred apart and it should be really tender. Give the broth a final taste for seasoning, which mine personally needed more salt, of which I added two more teaspoons. And that's really it. Grab you a soup bowl and ladle yourself up some of this deeply delicious stew. There is one last step that I highly recommend you do. While, yes, this is delicious on its own, it could really use some texture help. Do this by topping it with a raw egg yolk. I understand that this may not be for you, but I still recommend at least trying it with a small bowl. Anyways, let's break up this yolk and give the first bite to my Patreon community. Holy shit. I haven't made this in about five years now, and it's even better than I remembered. It'll be even better than you remember, too, if you like and subscribe.